Benzos, Zanny. What is Xanax like? The chill pill, pop a bar, pop a Zanny. What is it like? Let's go. Before I get started, remember Sober Dogs does not promote or condone any drug use. Please seek professional medical help if you have an addiction. Help Sober Dogs out, hit that like, that subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know your experience if you've ever had an experience with benzos. All right? Benzos, Xanax, you know, what is Xanax like? The reason, uh, you know, Xanax specifically is it's the most common one, the most popular one, the one we hear about. It's in rap songs. It's, it's when people talk about getting a prescription, a lot of times they just generically say a Zanny. You know, I, I got a Benzo or a Zanny when it could be one of the other ones. The, the ones in the category, you know, your, your Alprazolam, um, which is your, your Xanax, you, you know, your Clonazepam, which is your Clonopin, your Diazepam, your Valium, and your Lorazepam, your Ativan. The difference is how long they, you know, affect and act on the body. Um, some are shorter, you know, Clonopin is supposed to be stronger than Valium and, you know, back and forth all about them. But Xanax is the most commonly prescribed, most popular one. What is Xanax like? To me, Xanax is like putting a cloud around me. There was that Mortal Kombat character back in the day. I want to say Noob, Cybot? No, one of them who had the cloud around him. Reminds me of that, of this cloud where like the normal anxieties that hit me on a daily basis don't hit me. And I've taken Zanny, uh, you know, well, Benzos, I would say well into a thousands of times. That cloud, it just blocks out like the anxiety of life, a lot of it, and drops a lot of that inhibition and care about other people's, it, it, not other people, like you don't, like you're mean to other people, but like other people's opinions and things like that. For example, you're leaving your house at 8.50. You got to be at work at 9 o'clock. It's a 20-minute drive. You're anxious. Shit, I'm going to be late. Even if it's a perfect drive, you got to walk in late. You know, the boss might ask you why. Other people are going to question you. You're flustered. Take a Xanax before that situation, and it's like, oh, all right, I'll get there when I get there. Screw it. It is what it is. Like, it just blocks out these normal daily anxieties. Now, for people who legitimately need it for excessive anxiety, this is the benefit of it. You don't worry about every little thing. For the millions of people who don't take their prescription as prescribed, take it with other drugs, take it illegally, like myself, not anymore, but they're an addiction, this is part of the effect we're seeking, is that dropping that just total chill. And, you know, what it does mixed with other stuff, that drug synergy effect I've talked about in other videos, you know, Xanax and, and heroin, when you take them together, one plus one doesn't equal two, it equals three. Because the two drugs, when they inter interact in your brain, somehow they boost the effects of the other one. So if I go out on a normal night and do 10 bags of heroin, the next night, if I take a Xanax first, Four, five bags will get me the same effect as the 10. This is why a lot of people use it on alcohol. Somebody who normally can take eight, nine mixed drinks or shots to get drunk, fast forward the next night, they take a Xanax or two, two, three shots, and they are right up there just as drunk. And a lot of times this causes that blackout that kicks right in, that coherent blackout. Xanax and, and, and benzos are infamous for blackouts mixed with, by, first of all, by themselves or mixed with any of these other drugs. I, I don't know what the exact mechanism that's going on is, but they cause blackouts all the time. That is one of the most common side effects of excessive benzo use is blackouts, blackouts, blackouts. People, even like famous rappers like Eminem would talk about popping, you know, a, a, a benzos. I think it was Xanax, but I'm not sure if it was one of the other ones, Valium or one of them, but whatever, a benzo and he'd wake up four days later and have no idea what happened during his addiction. That's very common. A bar, a, a benzo bar, any bars, two milligrams. Somebody who's never taken it or has no tolerance, that you will feel that hardcore. You will feel it. People like myself during addiction, you know, I'd pop five, six of those, and I know other people who are way worse than me that pop 10, 12 of those. They are in a full-blown, like, 
just not out, unconscious to the world, blackout state. You know, benzos are that central nervous system depressant, just shuts everything down. When people overdose, one of the most common interactions is benzos with other drugs, but this doesn't get reported all the time accurately because pharmaceutical companies work very hard to make sure that their drugs aren't in all these autopsy and opioid epidemic reports. They can't keep all of it out, but alcohol and benzos causes overdose. Benzos by themselves can. Um, uh, uh, benzos and heroin is one of the most common but they figure, you know, if somebody died from an overdose of heroin, why do you got to put that there was a benzo in there? Why don't we just keep that out and just put that it was the heroin or the fentanyl? But it is so common. I, I don't know if I've ever met a drug user in my entire life that uses just one substance. Like people have their drug of choice, you know, a quote crackhead will use their crack, but then they'll still drink when it's available. They'll still smoke pot to come down vice versa. You know, I used the speedball. Heroin and Coke was my main two, but I still drank if it was here. You pot, benzos, this, that. Um, the only exception to that is I know a lot of hardcore alcoholics who just use alcohol. And benzos are one of the most common that people take. They take it for the cocaine come down. They take it to get rid of the meth come down. They take it for heroin withdrawal. They take it while doing heroin to get high. So many people like quote, upper class citizens take their benzo and go out and have their two, three martinis. And it just total alcohol combined with benzos drops all inhibitions. You are just loose as a goose. Don't give a sh you know, don't care at all. But it is so common. I, you know, I remember specific nights, one specific night, I took three Ben, three Zanny bars and, uh, you know, did some heroin too. And the night when I woke up, I woke up like 16 hours later, at, going through the night, five, six hours that I fell asleep, then I woke up. And I remember the night in the, it, it's the weirdest thing to me. It's like uh, this video, but imagine me showing you 10 seconds and then black for a minute and then 10 seconds and then black for a minute. So at the end of the 10 minutes, you've only actually watched, you know, a hundred seconds of video and all the rest are these huge gaps of black that you have no idea what's going on. That to me is what would happen when I took it like that. The whole night was a blackout except these tiny little gaps. And it, it, it that's how it would come in my brain like that. And it is the weirdest thing. Benzos push you into that blackout drop, all the social inhibitions, but different than alcohol, like alcohol to me would drop the inhibitions where I'd be like, I'll go up to that girl and ask her to dance. I don't give a shit. I'll punch my hand through that wall. Benzos, it's not like the rowdy drop the inhibitions. It's like the chill drop the inhibitions. Like, hey, you want to dance? And like 10 girls could say no. And I'd be like, yeah, it is what it is. And go up to the 11th and the 12th. Like just that total lower drop. Said this in the other video, but I think benzos are the next mini epidemic coming. I don't think it'll be as big as the opioid, but I think they're overprescribed, used by so many people legally and illegally. And the problem is when you use them all the time, your brain doesn't build up that regular way to learn how to cope with anxiety. So it is so hard for people to come off them because once they get off them, the tiniest little anxiety sends them through the roof because their brain's like, hey, this chemical was taking care of all the anxiety for the last year. I don't know how to do it. And also benzo withdrawal sucks. I'll do another video on that. A lot of people say benzo withdrawal is the worst withdrawal hands down. Can be deadly, is brutal. I'll tell you guys all about that in the next video. All right, that's what Xanax are like. They're just, I don't know, it's weird, man. It's weird, the benzo high, but I'm glad I don't have to deal with them anymore. K Rugs, the sober dog, and I'm out. Love all you guys. Thank you. See ya.